No, 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 no. Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and today's video is yet another installment of opening up mystery coin grab bags. I am super excited for this one. This one is a chunky monkey. Now, if you are new to my channel, one of the things I love doing here is buying mystery coin grab bags from all over the internet, from eBay to Amazon and everywhere in between, opening them up on camera and showing you whether or not we got our money's worth. Now, I've done this many times and yes, as you can imagine, they are mostly scams. Now, why do I keep doing it? Do I just like self-abuse? Do I just like throwing my money down the toilet? No, I do it for you guys, especially the new collectors out there so that you guys don't get turned off by this amazing hobby by getting ripped off by one of these eBay listings that promises you the world and delivers you a bunch of uh, common date wheat cents. So, what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna open up this grab bag and I'm gonna tell you how I got it. Now, one of the great ways of buying coin grab bags and not getting ripped off is buying them from your local coin store. But another great way is joining my Patreon campaign. That's right, if you wanna support my channel and my mission of teaching people all over the world about coin collecting, precious metals investing, and even personal finance, you can use the links below to support me on Patreon, and in exchange, you will get access to my private Discord server, which is basically a private chat room for me and my patrons to talk about coin collecting, precious metals investing, and everything in between. Honestly, we just kinda like to goof around and have a good time. But in any case, one of the things we love to do is to do a Secret Santa style coin grab bag exchange. We try to do it every month, but the postal service sometimes has other things to say about that. But in any case, what we do is I send a grab bag to someone, they send one to someone else, and eventually someone sends one to me. And that's what this is right now. Now this grab bag came from one of my patrons named Jason. You may remember Jason as my incredibly generous patron who sent me a package full of banknotes that I purchased from him, but the idea of calling it a purchase is kind of a misnomer because he gave me such a good deal that it was more like a gift. If you want to see that video, you should check it out in the card over here. But in any case, I am beyond excited to open up this grab bag. Now, if you want to see the grab bag that I put together for the other patron, you can check that out on Instagram. I posted pictures there, and if you want to follow me too, that would be great at The Silver Picker. Check me out there, you'll see the awesome grab bag that I sent out. Now, at the end of the video, after we finish opening up this grab bag, we are going to announce the winner to my giveaway. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a video about coin contests and how you can win them, and of course, I had my own giveaway, giving away six goldbacks, that's Utah goldbacks, that is real gold bullion currency, a Morgan silver dollar, and a quarter ounce of silver in an encapsulated with a signature by yours truly and I am going to be picking the winner today, so you don't wanna miss that, because it could be you. So, in any case, enough with the jibber jabber, let's crack into this amazing looking grab bag and see what we got. All right, check out this huge box. Now, while I open it, by the way, with the knife that Swamp Yankee gave me in the last video like this, while I open this, I'll tell you the rules of this exchange. So, this grab bag exchange, what we did, is it had to be $100 in value, so everything added up had to equal $100, and you had to include at least one piece of silver as well as what we call an oddity. And what that means is it's usually something that's non-numismatic that comes from one of your other collections or hobbies. So the idea is we want to expose each other to the other hobbies that we're interested in, and it just makes for a sort of just a much more fun uh, grab bag experience. And I am super stoked to see what Mr. Jason has for me in store today. Okay, first, first view, first view, check that out. I don't even see it yet. Oh boy, oh boy, there is a lot of stuff in here. All right, let's start with this. Okay, this is just packing material, super interesting uh, pack material. This is like muslin or, or cotton or something. Okay, that is the first time I've ever seen anything packed like that. Awesome. And I'm going to pull out just, there's a bunch of items in here. This is crazy. Wow. Okay, we've got ourselves like a bank bag. That's pretty cool. And there's like some other stuff. There's, okay, it looks like, let's pull all this stuff out first because it looks like everything's individually packaged. All right, it says open first. Open first, we'll do that. Good thing I decided to open everything up at, uh, at once. There's this, okay, this looks like it's just some packing material. Nice, good job recycling, I do the same thing. Some more of this uh, muslin material. Am I pronouncing that right? Is it muslin, muslin, muesli? I don't know. All right, some more muesli. 
and some more uh, recycled packaging, and it looks like we've got ourselves a letter as well. Box is empty. Max, always a joy to share with you. Even better to have you as a grab bag recipient. Your videos have taught me a lot and have inspired me in the hobby and teaching others. Your Discord community has been tremendously supportive and very helpful in keeping my mind, bu mind busy in tough times and in my recovery. Putting something together for you is proving hard. Having to do a lot of research. I included something I hope you still need for your US typeset. The box is the odd thing, things, but something we proudly have in common. Please open first. Please excuse the packaging. I recycle my packages. I only wished I had a bank bag from a New Jersey bank. Your friend, thank you, Jason C. Jason, thank you so much. Uh, I am wondering what could possibly be, uh, you know, in this thing that we share. I have a suspicion. I'm going to guess that it's something to do with Boy Scouts uh, because I know that he's been very involved in scouting. I think he actually discovered my channel in my uh, Boy Scout guide video. Uh, I did a, a guide book, or excuse me, a guide video to the coin collecting merit badge. So that's what my money's on. Let's see. Okay, open first. Oh man, Swamp Yankee, Ian, this knife cuts like butter. Thank you very much. I think we're good with that for now. All right, here we go. Packing peanuts, how'd you know? It's my favorite. We do have that in common. We both love, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, okay. Enough with the theatrics here. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I was right. I was right. Boy Scout stuff. Oh, man. I Do I know you or do I know you, Jason? Look at that. Okay. First, we start with the note. That's what you do. Boy Scouts of America. All right. Max, since you and I are both Eagle Scouts, I thought you'd appreciate these. Oh, wow. That is super cool. A bunch of Eagle Scout stuff. Got to start with the knife. No question. Look at that. It's got that beautiful Boy Scouts of America seal. We've got the can opener. We've got the bottle opener and flathead screwdriver. We've got the awl. And of course, we've got the blade. It's a nice blade too. This is definitely an antique. It's got the buckle over here. Carry it on a lanyard, on your belt. Man, this is a classic, a classic indeed. Made by the Imperial Knife Company. This is super, super cool. Thank you. Okay, next up we got a bunch of patches. Uh, this is, according to the list, it is an Eagle Scout adult leader's knot. Since I was not really involved in adult leadership as a, uh, an Eagle Scout, I'm not familiar with this one, but that's really, really cool. And then we've got a bunch of these patches. Now, when I was in scouting, we used to trade these patches uh, with other troops. See, this one, okay, this is a 100 years anniversary, BSA 2010. This one has Florida on there, the North Florida Council. So I guess that's the one that Jason is a part of. And we used to trade these, so we would give our uh, North Jersey patches away to people, and they would give us their local patches. It was very cool. Wow. Okay, this one is super, super cool. I love all of the, uh, the camp, the, the Boy Scout camp patches and emblems and stuff. I went to Camp Kunata, which uh, I don't think exists anymore, actually. This is my favorite one so far. This is really, really awesome. And it looks like we got a couple more things in there. This is, wow, this is... This is a neckerchief of Eagle Scout. Oh my God, is that handmade? Let's see what this says. An Eagle Scout neckerchief from the 1950s. That is so cool. Now, I understand that a lot of you, if you're not Boy Scouts or weren't in the Boy Scouts when you were a kid, you probably don't find this that interesting, but, but humor me and humor all the other people in, into scouting with this because this is really special. This is so, so cool. Look at that. That is real. This is like a piece of history. That's like hand stitched right there. Wow. Oh my God. Thank you, Jason. And last but not least, we've got... I thought it was another knife, but I guess it's not because we already have a knife. Let's see what this is. Oh, hello. This is, oh my God, this is beautiful. Look at that. What does that say? Whitetail cutlery. It's got this beautiful orange bone handle. What is this? This is like an interestingly shaped knife. This is like a gentleman's knife. Absolutely gorgeous. This is really beautiful. What is it? It's a, uh, hey, it's a gentleman's pocket knife. That's what it says. I got it right. A gentleman's pocket knife to be carried in formal occasions, a southern thing. Well, I have been carrying a pocket knife for a very long time, and I will say I find a use for it almost every day. I'm, I'm not even joking. If you don't carry a pocket knife and uh, you start carrying one, you will be shocked by how often you use it. Um, now, of course, you should check with your local laws and everything before you start carrying around a pocket knife. Uh, you know, don't hold me responsible. Do your research first. Do what you're comfortable with. 
Um, but man, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna start some drama. I'm gonna start some drama right now. This is the knife that Swamp Yankee gave me, and this is the one that Jason gave me. They're actually very similar, but I'm gonna start some drama, and I'm gonna say, which one do you guys like better? Which is the nicer knife? Well, because I don't want to be part of the drama, I am not going to say, but you guys can put your answers down in the comments below and duke it out. <laughs> they are both amazing. Look at that. All right, let's get to the other stuff. Holy cow, that is awesome. Ha, when I just went to check the footage, I just realized that I cut my finger on the knife and didn't even realize. So that's a lesson to you guys. Be careful, knives are dangerous. All right, let's move on to this guy. Look at that. The bag itself is awesome. Federal Reserve Bank of New York. This bag is property of and should be returned to Federal Bank of New York. Uh-oh, please do not turn me in, guys. Please do not turn me in. Look at that. There is so much stuff. This thing probably weighs like five pounds. I'm not even joking. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, we've got some more in here. Okay, we've got to use the knife. Which knife should I use? We've got three to choose from. I'll leave the, uh, you know, we've already opened the main package with the one from Ian. We've already opened my finger with this one. Now we'll open this package with this guy. I think that makes the most sense, right? So this one's definitely the least sharp because it is an antique. All right, there is, I can feel there's just tons of stuff in here. Oh my God, more bags, more bags. Okay, Let's see what we got. Okay, we've got so many little things in here, lots of little packages. Oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna really enjoy these. Oh, they're labeled, okay. Open last, so we'll set that off to the side, open last. This one doesn't have anything on it, so we can open that whenever. Open second to last, we'll do that. This thing is so freaking heavy, I honestly have no clue what this is. Okay, this one, also nothing labeled specifically. And not unsearched, only searched for date sets. So it's not unsearched, which means it is searched, only searched for date sets. So I'm guessing this is like uh, wheat sense. We'll see. All right, we got nothing else in the bag. Let's start off. Let's start ourselves off. Okay, so these are the three that I'm allowed to open whenever. Uh, I am gonna close this knife up because it is starting to scare me because uh, it attacked me once. Um, but I'm just kidding, I'm going to enjoy that. Okay, I gotta open this one first because it is so freaking heavy. Like, I don't think you guys realize how heavy this is. And uh, there's good reason for that because you are watching this through a screen. All right. Whoa, what is this? President of the United States, Richard Nixon. That is super interesting. This is a bronze uh, medal. Peace inaugurated January 20th, 1973. Wow, this is a inauguration medal, a Richard Nixon inauguration medal. How cool is that? That is really a part of history, a really interesting part of history, especially what's going on right now. Wow, look at that. All right, that is super cool. All right, now we got this little guy over here. Let's open that one up too. Okay, I see a two by two or a little uh, Mylar flip. Oh, there's a few coins in here. Some of them got loose. Let's see what this is. Bless this house, Habitat for Humanity International. Super cool. So I guess this is like a token that they give out if you uh, volunteer. Now, when I was in my early 20s, I actually volunteered for a Habitat Humanity build. I spent a week in Darlington, South Carolina, uh, helping build some Habitat houses. They do some really, really good work. Um, that is awesome. Then we've got Play Value, Showbiz Pizza Place. That's so funny, this is like a, I mean, when I was a kid, we had like Discovery Zone and Sports World and Sports Time USA. That's what was near me. Um, so this is like a gaming token. That's pretty cool. We've got the History Channel Club. So I guess this is like the little uh, token pack, 1776. I'm assuming that back in the day on the History Channel, they had like a little club that you could join and they sent you this little coin. And what is this? This looks older, this looks cool. Wow, good for five cents in trade, 18, what does that say? What does that say? It says one eighteen twenty three. It has two ones. That's really weird. It says a, like one eighteen twenty three, and then there's like a little bow at the bottom. I do not really know what this is. I mean, I know that it's like a, a merchant token, probably from the Civil War era. But if anybody has any more information on this, please let me know. This is super interesting. I like that one a lot. All right, we're gonna open this guy up next see what we've got over here. 
I love how you put this together with all the different, uh, different envelopes. Okay, it looks like we've got some mint sets over here, or proof sets. Let's see what we've got. All right, we've got the 2008. Let's check this out. This is one of the ones that's like a double one. These are cool because they've got the state quarters. Oh, these, this is a triple one. These are triple ones, that's right. It's got the presidential dollars. That's really cool. So it's got four presidential dollars. It has the five state quarters from that year. That's really cool. And of course it has the standard uh, coinage from that year. These are really, really nice. What a great set. Really great set. If you guys are like interested in getting into collecting modern coins or you wanna just do like a type set, this is a great way to start because you've got, a, you've got like 12 different coins here just from this one set. Yeah, you can correct my math later. I have no idea how many coins this is. That is awesome. We've got 1972. It's a classic. And we've got a 1973. I love how they all have different types of uh, holders. This one's got like a display stand. You could put this up on, uh, on your mantle if you wanted to. I like how this one includes the, uh, the dollar. Eisenhower. Very cool. Very, very cool. These aren't always worth a ton, but they're really cool. And usually like I end up re-gifting these, putting these in other grab bags, especially when I know someone who's got their birth year. And uh, you know, if I put together a grab bag for someone who was born in 1973, I'll probably include this. See, that's the great thing about grab bags is, you know, you don't need to keep everything for your own collection. Things that you like, you keep for your own collection and things that you're not into, uh, you can pass along and pay it forward. And this way it ends up in a good home that is going to appreciate it. All right. Now we've got this bad boy over here. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna make amends with this knife over here. Let's use the small blade. Let's use the small blade and see how that goes. See how this cuts. Oh yeah, we already know how it cuts. Cuts real well, cuts real, real well. Okay, we've got 30s DNS, cool. We've got pennies, 50 cents. And I'm guessing the third one is gonna also be a roll of pennies. And it is Wheaties, all right, Wheaties. So what I'm gonna do is I am actually going to open these guys up on one of my Patreon exclusive videos. So this coming month uh, for February for the Patreon exclusive video, I will open these up and we can go through them uh, kind of in a leisurely way. I don't wanna eat up too much time in this video going through each of these, but that is really cool, super excited for that. And uh, all of y'all can say thank you to Jason uh, if you're in the Patreon group. Uh, then you can say thank you to him because you will get a little bit of extra content. And we're down to the last two items. We've got open second to last and we've got open last. All right, here we go. Opening second to last. All right, here we go. Are we ready? Are we set? Wow, come on. Why do you do? That is too generous. Oh my gosh. 1998 American Silver Eagle, $1.00 face value, but a heck of a lot more than that in silver. We've got ourselves a one ounce fine silver. Now, if you guys are new to coin collecting or precious metals investing, this is like the, <laughs> ironically, this is like the gold standard of silver. Man, you guys are gonna eat me alive in the comments for saying that, but this is like the platonic ideal of American silver bullion. It's a one ounce coin trusted by everyone the world over. It is beautiful. It is regal, iconic, and it has a beautiful Lady Liberty here. Man, and the 1998 one is, a, is kind of an older one. Really, really nice. Really nice. Whew, thank you. That's going right in my own personal private stack for sure. Okay, and here we go. Open last. I'm assuming this is what you were saying is uh, going to be good for my typeset. Uh, I've got to do an update video on my typeset soon because I've got a bunch of coins that got to go in there. Um, but here we go. Let's see what we got. What is this? <gasps> wow. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh my God. This is a 20 cent coin. Holy cow. 20 cent silver. Yes, if you did not know this, back in the day, they didn't have just 25 cents. They didn't just have 10 cents. They had a 20 cent coin. Oh my God. It's slightly smaller than a quarter. Five of these to a dollar. How cool is that? Oh my God, it is a Seated Liberty from 1875. Jason, you beyond made my day. And it's in excellent shape, VG for sure. Look at that. These are not easy to come by. I have literally, I can say this, I have literally never owned one of these. 
you know, I've bought literally hundreds of collections and bought them, resold them, kept stuff for my own collection and everything, and I have yet to even hold one of these in my hands. And now I have one thanks to you. I am, I am floored. I am absolutely floored. Okay, I thought that this was going to be my favorite thing in the set. No way. This is it. This takes the cake. I will say that I'm going to pick three favorite things. I'm going to pick one Boy Scout item. This is my favorite Boy Scout item you sent just because I love the design and I just, I just love uh, Boy Scout camp. This knife, I mean, because you, you sent so many awesome things that knives are its own category in this grab bag. This is my favorite. And of course, this insanely generous, insanely generous coin that is going straight into my US typeset. Wow, look at all this glory. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, we are going to select a winner to my Silver Picker Gold and Silver giveaway. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I did a video a few weeks ago about coin contests, sweepstakes, and giveaways. You can check it out in the card over here. It still has lots of information, even though you missed this contest. But there will be plenty of other contests in the future, so don't you worry. The way to win was to be a subscriber to my channel and leave a comment answering the question that I asked in the video, which is what was the subtle apparel change that I underwent? And if you missed it, this was it. So if you got the answer, you're in the contest, and now I'm going to pick at random one of the contests, and you, sir or ma'am, will be the winner of this awesome gold and silver. Let's go. All right, so here we go. We are going to enter the URL of the YouTube video. We are going to filter for duplicates. We are not going to include replies. And here we go. YouTube comments. Da -da 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 -da. There are 440 unique entrants to this contest. And here we go. All right, who's going to win? Who's going to win? That coin lady. 1024, that tie goes perfectly with the hoodie. You are the winner, congratulations. All you gotta do is send me an email at thesilverpicker at gmail.com or message me on Instagram at thesilverpicker and you'll send me your address and I will send you this awesome gold and silver to your home free of charge. So congratulations to that coin lady. Well, that was a lot of fun. I do videos every single week about coin collecting, precious metals investing, and even personal finance, and everything in between. And if you like that, I would love it if you'd consider hitting that big ol' red subscribe button, giving the video a like, and staying tuned for next time, because we have a lot more awesome stuff coming down the pike. So stay tuned, and until then, Silver Picker out. A huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons, especially to Lucy who organized this grab bag exchange and to Jason who sent me this amazing grab bag. If you want to participate in these grab bag exchanges, the links to my Patreon campaign are below. I would definitely appreciate it and cannot wait to see you in the Discord. <laughs>